Hello Hammerheads, thanks for tuning in. Got a bit of a bad head and all that. God, it's like oh, 10 to 1, right, on um, fucking, oh, what day is it? Uh, Saturday, right? And I never, I haven't even been to bed. It's not good enough. Fell asleep on the couch, woke up at 6 this morning, that's the that time I normally get up for work. And it's like, why am I getting up that early to go to work when I'm fucking off? It's a fucking Saturday for Christ's sake, you know what I mean? Oh. Anyway, I had a, a, a chicken vindaloo for my breakfast. I'm still bloody hungry. Followed by a few beers and all that, you know what I mean? Way. Cheers. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have to go on to Mal's shop and get some more. Yeah. There's me after some. God, I shouldn't be doing this. No, this isn't me really. It's not my real, true character. I don't believe smoke dope and drink beer in the mornings man and dinner times and all that without near sleep well what I wanted to talk about was legend shut up fucking cat you know what I mean talk about legends she's gonna very well turn into one soon watch your step you <laughs> Watch your three steps. <laughs> She's only got three fucking legs. You end up in a fucking curry at night, I swear. Um, mm. I was going to talk about them um, legends and and hoaxes and, and you know, these world famous photographs. For instance, like, Loch Ness Monster. Hmm? You know that world famous photograph which was taken in 1933? Well, it's just recently been exposed as being a big bloody fake. Hmm? A surgeon took that I mean, it, it, I mean, he died not long ago, and he admitted it on his deathbed, and he says, oh, oh, and the footprints that they found, he actually did them with an ashtray. It was all to do with revenge, getting back on the fucking press, on, or whoever, anyway, it was a fake. It's just been exposed. So, like, for 70 odd years, people have been wondering, oh God, is it real, is it real? People have even said, oh, it's an elephant's trunk. Yeah, right. You know what I mean, it's feasible. It's plausible enough. I mean, you think back to them days, when you had all these travelling circuses, a lot of them went through Scotland and that. You know, and the elephants, they used to stop for a rest and let the elephants go in the locks and stuff. And if you look at that picture, it does look like an elephant's trunk and a light head below it. But, no, it's not that. That's been ruled out because it was a toy submarine about that fucking big man. But at the time, when the picture was taken by this surgeon, it was virtually impossible, well, it was impossible to determine the distance and the size of it, you know what I mean? It could have been huge, could have been small. And the ripples around the boat and that. But, ah, oh, they've been doing extensive research for decades to try and discover it, if it's real or a hoax or whatever. And then, well, it just so happens that the bloke who took the picture, the surgeon, well, he's on his deathbed. Ooh, oh, it was fake, it was rubbish, oh, it was a little toy. I made them footprints with an ashtray. <laughs> you know what I mean? Similar thing with the, um, Bigfoot in North America. Well, it's... 
it's quite widespread now. I was watching a documentary earlier and um, you know it more or less convinced me that nah, no way. I mean yeah right it's it's a healthy like it keeps your brain healthy doesn't it when you you've got all these myths spinning around in your head you know what I mean it's like it's good. Everyone needs to believe in something, man. But come on, the scientific and scientific evidence is vastly overwhelming. I mean, to prove that doesn't exist. No, none of it does. I mean, how can it live? How can it survive? How can it thrive? Indeed. You, well, you're gonna need about. Um, a few thousand of them you know what I mean not a few hundred if indeed there is a few hundred there are a few hundred I don't know yes I do know they don't exist but the thing is people like to pursue this quest of like oh the unknown oh, it's, it's, it's like religious people really oh believing in God even though the Deep down in the hearts, they're not entirely sure if God exists. This is like these kind of people. You know, oh, look at this. I mean, you know that famous photo? Eh, photo. Film. About, well, yeah, it was 1967. It was um, taken by, oh, what the hell was his name? Roger Patterson. Yep. The Yeti walking along in North Carolina, Eureka, what was the name of the place, Bluff Creek or something. And um, <laughs> it's just been found out recently. I mean, that's baffled fucking people for 40 odd years. And it's just been revealed that it was Patterson's mother in a fucking fur suit. Ah! You know what I mean? Come on, man. Look at the Cottingley Hill fairies from Bruce before the First World War. And, and them two little lasses admitted it when they were old and that. Oh, it was us cut, cut out these bloody paper cutouts and put them in the garden and that. And they filled the fucking world. The whole world was believing that there was such thing as fairies. Come on, man. What's the world coming to? <laughs> I don't like that saying. I'm going to give myself a nice big punch here. <sighs> I don't know my own strength. I've already got a bad head. I don't want to make it any fucking worse, man. <laughs> anyway, getting back to the subject. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It's funny how pain makes me laugh. Never mind. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Strangler's song from 1977. January 1977. Get a grip on yourself. Stranger from another planet. Welcome to a hole. Just drop pop a guitar. And we'll play some rock and roll. <laughs> but the money's no good. Just get a grip on yourself. <laughs> Oh God, what am I talking about? Fucking Strangler songs. We're supposed to be talking about yetis and Loch Ness Monsters and fairies and gardens and all that, you know what I mean? Mm. Ali, just do one, will you? Soft on these. No, I'm not really from Liverpool. Or Bootle. Um, yeah. 
So, yeah, people like to believe in these entities and... I mean, I must admit, this is totally different from fucking big foots and bloody, or big feet or uh, bloody, you know, fucking lockless monster dinosaurs what fucking never existed in the first place and blah, 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 and bits of logs and whatever. You know, ghosty things, right? I've had a few experiences. I mean, God, have you ever been to Chingle Hall? The most haunted place in England. Hmm. Used to be a monastery a thousand years ago. I've been there twice. And it's like, very... I went in there dead sceptical, but it's fucking strange, I'm telling you. I mean, they said, right, This says, um, oh, mind, your cameras might jam up in a certain fucking room. Sure enough, everybody's camera jammed up in this fucking certain room. And this was 1979, and so it wasn't electrically charged and, or set up or anything. Everyone's camera just jammed. It's all right. As soon as we got off the, the, over the, the bridge, the little teeny wooden bridge over the little stream that. As soon as you got across that, your camera started working again. Bit strange that, like. And I went into one of the bedrooms and like, because like, you know, we're getting shown round by a guide and all that. And oh, I felt all dizzy and everything. It's dead weird. Then I went again later, years later, oh god, about 1993 or something. And. But now, you know what they've done? They've stopped fucking. Oh, used to be able to go and stop overnight and go ghost hunting. You know, I paid them a fee, blah, blah. Stop there, get your cameras and all the rest of it. Can't do it anymore. Because someone else has. In charge of it. <coughs> you know what I mean? So, that's all down the bog. I would love to have gone there. You know, well, you know when I got married in fucking 1997, man? Or 98, I can't remember. I don't give a fuck. But anyway, we were planning our honeymoon to go there, but, nah, no such luck. Yeah. I've had a few experiences, like, I mean, I've seen things and, not monsters, not hairy men with big feet or, or like, dinosaurs living in lakes, that's just myth, it's hoax anyway, I mean, they're all getting exposed now, you know, all the people who fucking took these pictures and films and that, they're all dying now, and on the deathbed they're like, oh god it was me, ooh. I mean, some of them do it bef long before they die anyway, and, and that bloke who like, put all them spaceships on his window, took a photo, baffled the fucking world for bloody years, man. It was about 1966 or something, 1967, he stuck loads of little, sp no, he drew, no, sorry, he painted little spaceships on his bedroom window, and then took a photo of them. And it just looked like they were among the trees and that. <laughs> and he admitted that's what he did. Nah, not that long ago, really, about 30 years, 25 years ago or something. And, you know, they all admit it in the end when they get dead old and they've had the fun, oh, we've filled the bloody world, we've filled the psychic world. With, you know what I mean? It's just... So, it's best. To just sit tight and wait and wait until the truth comes out because it always does in the end mark my bloody well words mate mates girls boys everyone nah, no one's gonna fucking watch this anyway but you know what i mean though Mm. Silliness. 
I mean, Loch Ness Monster, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there's been so many, like, um, you know what, right? Watch this documentary the other night. No, I've been extent. I've been extensively researching it as well. The ripples in the water. That's what it is. Oh, look at that. Because the human mind is a funny fucking thing. They look at something and go, oh, and something registers, and it's like it's not what they're really seeing. It's like what they want to see. And it's like oh, I've seen this, or oh, I've seen that. And the legend, it's like Chinese whispers, really. You know what I mean? Things like that. I mean, you know, the, the, the Sasquatch and Bigfoot in North America, or Alaska, or wherever, or, the, you know, the American version. That's a load of shit. I mean, the, the, how that started was in, in 1958 by a bloke called Wallace. He worked for a construction company and um, he, he, one day he got out of his bulldozer and come back and he's, he's seen loads of these massive footprints surrounding his bulldozer. He's like, oh, look at this, look at this. And that's what started off. Well, one of the... And like, his son admitted years later after his dad died, oh, my dad and his mate met these wooden fucking massive footprint, footstep things, and did that in the snow, and, and baffled everyone for years. You know what I mean? Why? Fair enough, you're going to make some money out of it, but he didn't make any money out of it, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, God, people are strange. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's a song. Uh, Fucking, who covered that again? Somebody covered it in the 80s and early 90s. I don't know, fuck that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. Ugh. We got beer all over. You know what? I'm gonna have to go on my heads because I'm not very good. <laughs> <laughs> True.